This video will briefly introduce Axon's Data Marketplace, where data consumers can shop for data. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will take on the part of Mark Perry to show his experience of the data marketplace within Axon Data Governance. Mark works in analytics and as such is both a data consumer and a data owner. He needs to access data regularly in order to support his analytics projects. And once he draws insights from data, he also publishes his findings. Here are some of the data sets he owns in Axon. He has pinned the list to his dashboard. If he wanted to publish one of these, he could click into this widget and select the appropriate dataset. By selecting Customer Insights and clicking Bulk Publish, Mark can make this dataset available for access requests on the data marketplace. He can choose a broad category or a subcategory to publish this dataset to, and in this case he selects to publish Customer Insights to the Marketing Analytics subcategory, and give it a prefix of CI. Now that Mark has published his dataset to the marketplace, he wants to confirm it is available for others to request access to, so he goes to browse for it in the data marketplace. Here Mark can see that as he planned, his data collection is now available for his colleagues to leverage. He wants to make sure the collection is presented as it should be, so checks a few things. As expected, the data quality for the data collection is strong. The delivery method listed, however, is not his preference. Mark would prefer to provide the data to consumers via EDC, and so selects to add this delivery method. He can then choose to apply this as the default method for delivery. Happy with the provisioning setup, he turns to the related policies. The policies related to the use of the data seem to be in order, so all in all, Mark is happy that this dataset is ready for consumption, and turns to his other responsibilities as a data owner. The Data I Own tab summarizes the data that he is responsible for and the access requests that are currently active in relation to these data sets. The Access History view shows who has been granted access to his data in the past for the sake of audit, and he can even choose to request to revoke access should he think that this data should no longer be shared with this individual. If Mark wants to see a summary of all open tasks requiring his attention, the best view is in Tasks. The number next to tasks confirms he has open actions. He's the business owner for two datasets and the technical owner for another, so he fulfills slightly different roles. In the case of the request fulfillment grouping, he will have to do more than just approve, as he will then have to make sure the data is delivered as promised. That is his role as a technical owner. Mark uses the task tab to work his way through his open tasks, ensuring they are moving along as they should be having conversations with some requesters, and approving requests when he has enough information. But Mark is not only here to share data, he is also a consumer. So when he's done with his responsibilities, he returns home to search for the latest cut of customer data. He can see a few results, but knows that not all the data will suit his purposes. He knows he can trust the data that Katrina publishes, so adds a filter to ensure he can only see her datasets. The customer master sounds like it will suit his purposes, so he clicks into the dataset to see the details. Mark can see that the data in the customer master is just what he needs for his next project. The DQ looks good overall, but he wants to understand what makes up this score, so he clicks into the breakdown and then goes to assess the quality of a couple of key attributes. When he is satisfied with quality, he checks the delivery method and format to ensure they are suitable for him, which they are. Finally, he checks out the related policies and ensures that his project does not contradict the terms of use. As personal data is involved, he will have to stay within GDPR guidelines, but this is as he expected. To check out the data, Mark explains that he will use it for analytics purposes and confirms the default delivery target is his preference. He bypasses the additional information fields as he requires nothing out of the ordinary and does not need to specify his cost center as this is internal data which the company does not charge for. Once Mark has confirmed he will comply with the appropriate terms of use, he can submit his order. Once Mark has ordered the dataset, he will be able to track the progression of this order. Here, any data access request he has raised will be listed. By filtering on pending approval, he ensures he is only looking at active requests, and as expected, he can see the customer master dataset. By filtering on order fulfilled, we can see the orders that have already been carried out, 
This will also correspond to the datasets listed in Data I Use. Soon, when his order is followed through, the Customer Master dataset will appear here too, and he will be able to get started on his next analytics project. All in all, he's used the marketplace from all perspectives throughout the course of this demo. He's used it to publish the data that he has created and wants to promote the use of, track the requests of others to the data he owns, approving and provisioning as needed, and request access to the data he needs to do his day-to-day -day job. Thank you for listening.